Hello. Welcome back once again to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Infinite Jeff to you one page at a time, one day at a time. And I put it on YouTube, and the world rejoices. This is page number 310. Puchikant's separatism and return, when he called to ask for help with separatism, which Oren's asking for help from him was with anything, was strange enough in and of itself. Bernadette Longley reluctantly bowed to PW's Jessica Pearlberg at 18A1 single 644662, though A2 Diane Prins hopped up and down on the thorax of Port Marilyn Ng's uh, Tiep 7661. And Bridget Boone drove a hot, thin spike into the right eye of Amy Middleton Law, 6363, and so on, in classroom after classroom, while instructors grade quizzes or read or tap a decreasingly patient foot every Tuesday slash Saturday, while Shat sketches perennial detention charts in his exam's margins with a concentrated look, not wanting to embarrass Thode by handing the no-brainer exam in too soon. Most of the early Quebec stuff about Cartier and Roberval and Captain Rouge and Champlain and flocks of Ursuline nuns with frozen wimples covered up to like UN Day Hald find to you and Day Hald find Hallid find mostly dry and repetitive. God, the apostrophes in this. The wig and jerk and gentlemanly warfare stilted and absurd, like slow motion slapstick, though everyone had been sort of queasily intrigued by the way the English commander Amherst had been handled had handled the Hurons by dispensing free blankets and buckskin that had been carefully coated with smallpox variola. 14's A3 Felicity Zweig went absolutely sack pop on PW's Kiki Pfefferblit 7661 while Gretchen Holt made PW's Tammy Taylor Bing sorry for her parents sorry her parents were ever even in the same room together 6063 at five, Anne Kitter, Kitten Plan grimaced and flexed her way to a 752663 win over Paisley Steinkamp, right next to where Jolene Kreis, at six, was doing to PW's Mona, Mona Ghent what a quality boot can do to a toadstool, two and two. Saluki faced Thierry Poutrincourt. Leans back in her chair and closes her eyes and presses her palms hard against her temples and stays like that all the way through every WETA broadcast, which always interrupts her last period lecture, <clears throat> and puts this section slightly and maddeningly behind separation and returns other section, resulting in two required lesson preps instead of one. The sour Saskatchewanese kid next to Hal has been making impressive schematic drawings of automatic weaponry in his notebook all semester. The kids' assigned ROM diskettes are always visible in his book bag, still in their wrapper. Yet the Sketch kid always finishes quizzes in like five minutes. It had taken up to the week before Halloween to get through with BS 67 Levesque Party and Bloc Quebecois, footnote 109, and early Front de la Liberation Nationale stuff, and up to the present interdependent era. Putrin Court's lecture voice had gotten quieter and quieter as history, histories approached its contemporary limit, and Hal, finding the stuff rather more high concept and less dull than he'd expected, seeing himself as his innermost core, uh, as at his innermost core apolitical, nevertheless found the Quebecois separatism mentality almost impossibly convolved and confused and impervious to U.S. Alrighty, that was page number 310 of this book, this Infinite Jest on Infinite Jeff. That's why I called Infinite Jeffst, because I'm a mad fucking man. Good fucking night.